Chapter 2 The Survivors Embrace Unity In the aftermath of the cataclysmic events, the survivors stood amidst the ruins of their once thriving world. Their hearts heavy with the weight of loss and the uncertainty of the future. Yet, as they looked around and saw the faces of their fellow survivors, a glimmer of hope began to kindle within their souls. They were the chosen ones, brought together by an unseen hand, destined to rise from the ashes and rebuild humanity with newfound unity. The survivors, drawn together by a shared purpose, found solace in each other's presence. They were no longer strangers separated by the boundaries of their tribes, but a collective force forged by the trials of survival. In their eyes, they glimpsed the reflection of their own strength and resilience. And in their hearts, they held a profound understanding of the value of companionship. With determination in their hearts, they set forth on a daunting endeavor to rebuild mankind and establish a society that would cherish peace and harmony above all else. They vowed to break the vicious cycle of conflict and violence that had plagued their past choosing a path of unity that would bind tribes together as one. Gathering in makeshift assemblies, the survivors discussed and debated the best course of action. They knew that unity could only be achieved through mutual respect and understanding, and that war would only lead to further destruction. Thus, they forged a pact, pledging to resolve their differences through dialogue and cooperation seeking compromise and common ground rather than resorting to the destructive force of conflict. In the evenings, as the embers of campfires danced in the darkness, the survivors gathered to share stories of old. Tales of heroes and heroines. Of trials and tribulations. Of love and loss. Were recounted by the elders among them. They discovered that their tribes had more in common than they had ever imagined. As the threads of shared heritage and experiences wove a tapestry of connection. Among these stories, the one that resonated the most was the ancient tale of Akama, the divine creator. As they listened, they felt a profound sense of awe and humility, for it was believed that Akama had played a hand in their survival. In Akama's benevolence, they found hope and guidance and a belief that there was a higher purpose to their existence. Inspired by the teachings of Akama, the survivors embraced a newfound spirituality. They learned to commune with nature and find solace in the beauty of the world around them. They understood that the sanctity of life extended not only to their fellow humans but to all living beings and the natural world itself. In their hearts, they held a deep reverence for the animals and plants that sustained them recognizing the interconnectedness of all life. With their shared purpose, guided by the wisdom of their stories and beliefs, the survivors embarked on a remarkable journey. They faced hardships and challenges, but their unity remained steadfast. As they worked side by side, they discovered the strength that lay in collaboration, the joy that came from shared victories, and the healing power of a united spirit. As seasons passed and years turned into decades, the survivors' efforts bore fruit. Their once fragmented tribes evolved into a thriving civilization, built on the principles of unity, compassion, and respect for all life. Their collective memory of the cataclysmic events became a reminder of the importance of cherishing what they had and forging a better future together. The legacy of the survivors endured through generations becoming a beacon of hope for humanity. Their story spread far and wide, inspiring others to seek unity, compassion, and the wisdom of a karma in their own lives. The survivors had not only rebuilt mankind but also ignited a spark that would guide humanity towards a harmonious future, a future where the bonds of unity triumphed over the temptations of conflict, and the belief in a higher purpose propelled them towards a world of peace and understanding.